Back with Steve Wall, executive chef at uh, Lux Bistro. And uh, listen, I want to show something real off the top. I'm just going to move around here. This was your salad. That's what happens when something tastes amazing on this show. Where to go? See a crab salad. Amazing. It's a really great job. It's in your it's in your stomach now. And, uh, and not just mine. Everybody was all over that thing. Yeah. Arctic char in your hand. Arctic this char. Is part of the Valentine's menu at Lux Bistro. Yep. So we got a little butter in there. It's going to make the fish taste. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we're going to cook the fish mm -hmm. skin side down. Mm -hmm. Right. We'll now, leave that there for a while. We didn't let you in the kitchen early enough to get the pan all hot enough, so usually it would be... Well, there's a lot of commotion right now. You know, yeah. Hanson's, Hanson's coming. Are you, so. I know you're psyched, so yeah. it's going to be good. I'm technically opening for Hanson right now. <laughs> That's actually true. Yeah. So you put, uh, again, the first salt that I saw, you put it on, on the... Yeah, you want to put quite a bit of salt on the skin side, and that'll help it create a crust. Okay. And cook it mostly on the skin side. I think this is uh, one thing a lot of home cooks ask us about is how we get such crispy skin. The thing you really want to do is really salt the skin side. Cook it mostly on the skin side. Okay. And what, once like you, a minute or two on the other 90 side? 90% of the way. 90% okay. of the way. So when you start to feel the other side of Firm the fish, get, even get a little bit warm, okay. flip it for maybe 10 seconds, and then it's done. Awesome. Now, what do we yeah. have in this pot here? So this is the other part of the dish. It's kind of like almost like a New England chowder of sorts. Mm flavored with Old Bay. We have uh, oysters and mussels stewed stewed oh, inside of here. Wow, delicious. So there are potatoes in there I saw? Or? There are some potatoes okay. in there. We're going to put some kale in there as well. Right on. This is all, uh, are those Yukon Gold potatoes? Fingerlings. Okay, finger fingerlings. Potatoes, yeah. Because I was going to say, look at Arctic char. It looks like a lot of, uh, a bit of a northern theme to it. Yeah. Uh, and you yeah, had some sure. Alaskan crab in the last uh, dish as well. So. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> this is kale? Yeah, this is delicious. kale. Delicious. And stuff. it's just going to wilt down in the sauce. So just like nice. we were talking about earlier, we want to show people something other than uh, than beef comes from Lux. Be showing. Sure I mean, that. yeah. You, so here's the deal: you can't go wrong with beef at Lux, and we all know yeah. that. So we're showing a little option here if you wanted to make it a different night, and you've been to Lux a couple of times. Um, how do you recommend that someone steers clear of an amazing steak on their first visit, though? I don't know. I well, think I would yeah. always recommend. You're, you're going to have to do that yeah. first time. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, for Valentine's Day. Um, you got the oysters and mussels in there, which we all know are, are really romantic dishes. Plus, uh, the Arctic char is starting to really. How long does this go for? About maybe three minutes. Maybe three, three minutes, minutes in total. Minutes. So we'll see the finished product later on in the show. Then we'll, we'll yeah. come back with Perhaps it. Perhaps you'll see another empty plate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if we can hold it in the plate long enough. Yeah. So Valentine's Day again. I want to make sure that people know to make rec uh, rev reservations. You've already got. A bunch of reservations, a couple yeah. of tables Yeah, left. it's getting up there for sure. Yeah. So, um, and guys aren't known necessarily as the best planners. That's true. We uh, sometimes procrastinate. This is not a time you want to do that. No. Yeah. No. Because it's a, it's a great spot and the exact location right on the corner of... Um, York and Byward. York yeah. and Byward. Yeah, 47 it. York Street. Fantastic. And it yeah. is uh, a nice spot. The uh, Like I said before, the atmosphere is really nice. It's... Um, dark in there but you can still see right you're not in a dungeon it's no, you know, no. really airy no, and, and good and uh, we have a lot of windows the windows line york mm -hmm. street and byward so you can see what's happening in the market when you're sitting down and it's very nice how i could possibly wait three minutes for that it smells so good already yeah, it is good so uh this is a separate dish aside from the no this the is this is sort this? of the base and it'll okay. go in sort of really nice oh. oval bowl here oh okay and then we'll we'll hit it with some old bay and such oh fantastic and, so uh, and that that really gets good. so this gets poured over top of the char or does the char get cut this'll, up this will go in the bottom the okay. whole char fillet will oh. go across the top be really nice. that? it yeah. smells unbelievable steve yeah. this is incredible all right so what we're going to do is uh we're going to cook this over the break and, and plate it and uh maybe hopefully we can come back and have a little look at it uh, in a two and a half minutes or so, we'll come back and have a look at that. Lux Bistro, make the reservations a great place for Valentine's Day. And Steve, thanks so much for coming in Thank and showing you. us. It is Bell Let's Talk Day, five cents from every text sent on the Bell Network and every long distance call made on the Bell Network. Plus, if you do an official retweet from at uh, Bell underscore Let's Talk, that's another five cents. Hoping to shatter last year's record of over $3 million. More on CTV Morning Live after this. Oh, sweet mother of wow. pearl, welcome back to the show. It's just about 9 o'clock, look at that. What's that called? This is the uh, the oyster potato mussel stew. How do I turn this off? Uh, oh, with the off There we go, there the off go. button, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough outside your own kitchen. Uh, Steve Wall, executive oh, look chef at, it. at Lux. There it goes. Imagine it goes that coming to you on Valentine's Day. What a plate. 
You know what the it. bad news about all this what? is? Leanne has discovered she likes oysters. Oh, that's, 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 you know, that's I, less for it us. It has been an acquired taste for me lately. <laughs> Have you really had oysters did? cooked, though? No. Oysters stewed are very good as well. I'll let you guys, uh, <laughs> like right, let you guys dig in. And that's your yeah. char on top, right? Yes, sir. Oh, no. Zidane O'Char right there. Oh, I lost it. What do you got? Oh. What do you wear? What so you, got you went for? with the fork and you went with the spoon. It was well, yeah. different strategies heading into this oh. one. Mm. Mm. Char? All right, the boys are going to chow there, down. So uh, we do have Hanson coming to play live for us uh, just before the end of the hour. We also have an Ask the Expert, but first we're going to mm. check in with uh, Annette Gurner with a look at the headlines. Morning.